Okay, so what is the difference between metta and compassion? Simple question. It does have a simple answer. I think people are not so clear on the difference between these two. Um, not realizing that they are actually different sides of the same coin. And, and there is quite a bit of over... there is some sense of overlap, but they are opposites. They are opposite sides of the same coin. So, uh, metta, which we translate as actually friendliness. Metta comes from the word mitta. Mitta, and then you, you strengthen the I, and it becomes an E, and so you get metta. Um, mitta means friend, metta means friendliness. What it refers to is the uh, intention, the mind state which is intent upon bringing happiness to other beings, or, or not exactly bringing happiness, intent upon a wish or a uh, desire or an inclination, because it doesn't have anything to do with desire or attachment, not necessarily, but an inclination that beings should be happy. So you have a being who is in a neutral state, there it is the wish, the volition, the minds, the, the mindset that that person or people or that all beings should be happy. So it's a positive one. Compassion, karuna, which we translate as compassion, is the opposite. You have a neutral person and you wish for them not to fall into suffering. You know, may, may, may this person be free from suffering. Or, sorry, conversely, you have a person who is in suffering and uh, the wish for them to be free from suffering. The intention, the mindset that, um, that beings should be free from suffering. So it doesn't actually require you to do anything. Neither one of these actually requires actions. It's, it's these mindsets that will inform your actions. So as a result of a desire for beings to be happy, or an in, a mindset that is good for beings, to, that you wish for beings to be happy, may beings be happy, uh, as a result you will then act in such, uh, you'll act accordingly. So you'll do things to bring happiness and peace and freedom from, or happiness and peace to, be, to people. Now, now um, Compassion, when you have this mindset, it will inform your actions in such a way that you work to relieve suffering. So that you, when someone is in pain, you will immediately act to try to free them from that. When they're, when they're in mental anguish or despair, you'll, you'll incline towards uh, freeing them from that. So the, the problem is that in the end, it all comes down to the same thing, that, that true happiness is freedom from suffering. They're, they're, they're one and the same. But the, um, the feeling in one's mind is different. So when, when one has love for beings, has friendliness, it's a wish, it's a positive wish. When one has compassion, it's a wish to take away. It's a wish to take away someone's suffering. But um, kind of two sides of the same coin. And so it's an interesting question. But um, I think it's a, it's a clear answer that compassion is desire to take away suffering, friendliness or metta is desire to bestow happiness.